Let's see who which Joker will come out on top. Three, two, <laughs> Unique one, name versus Fiend. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? There's Nintendo, there's Glentendo, and I know there's another player like someone Kentucky. His name is Sintendo. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, don't, I can't remember if it's like in Kentucky or like somewhere in the Midwest. I can't remember exactly, but right. Looks like these two kind of going blow for blow, not quite going crazy with the conversions. You know, just getting those stray hits, dash stack into each other. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's using like what was it you call it? Take aim? Yeah. Is that game. how the game actually calls it? Yeah, it's like gun, and then underneath it says take aim. Right. Uh huh. Dash attack once more. Yeah, I I feel like you can kind of tell when the Jokers haven't been quite oh. laughing it when you see like how far they take their conversions. Because a lot of times they're just going in for those straight hits. Up throw, trying oh. to get that grappling hook. Whoa. Looks like they're not quite going to work there. Arsene both out for both players here. The thing about Arsene you have to remember is it only lasts 30 seconds. Not only that, you do lose Arsene. The meter will go down if you do take damage. Yep. I think it's like for every percent you take, like, you, you lose like a second or something yeah. like that, if I recall correctly. I could be wrong, though, but he's still a new character. The back air, though, going to be able to get that edge guard. That's usually how Joker's going to be able to seal out those stuff if yeah. Arson is not available, or if Arson is available. Even at the left, too, it's one of your best tools to actually seal out Fox. Tries to get the ground look for a possible uh, combo extension, but it misses the opportunity here. And think about Aha too as well, as it does do 13% damage over time. But it's a knockback that actually allows you to either move in or possibly get a follow by different percents. Right. Well, it looks like Shinta still trying to figure out how to take Vintendo's oh. first stock. Gonna get that down tilt. Not quite able to set up the kill yet. Arsene is still available, but he's slowly losing and already half meter gone. And Vintendo very healthy with his Arsene right now. The up throw? No, up throw won't kill until a little bit until, like, I think it's closer to, like, 200 almost. Yeah, Joker, Joker doesn't quite have a kill throw reliable like the other characters, which mm -hmm. makes sense. He's, like, a big setup character instead. So he has a lot of opportunities, like Young Link, how he doesn't have kill throws. Exactly. But, yeah, but, uh, oh my goodness, I just thought that was Nintendo just assumed because of his high percent. But finally going to lose his stock to the up air, but Shinta already losing his first. Arsen, you know, man, if you're not careful, you'll lose that stock very early. Yeah. Trying to go for the back air. The fact that he sees that Nintendo's right, the opportunity to go for it. It's the combo extension from the grapple, but it's not going to pay out so well. Shinta still surviving with a spot dodge back fourth throw. We're going to go for a downer. Downer also a pretty good move. Uh, solid move out of shield as well. Usually Jokers uh, want to optimize going for a down air or back air to get crossed out. Yeah, uh, without Arson it won't spike, but it sends you in a semi-spike angle, so it's still great for edge guarding as long as you get the right positioning on it. He's trying to figure out his way down, but Nintendo trying to end his life, gets the footstool, but of course that is like a pit recovery, so it goes very far. Yeah. Should be able to live that footstool. There's the safe poke with the forward tilt, but he's not able to any percent, almost gets the grab after the, the counter in play. Yeah, that's the card not gonna work there. Oh, yeah, still recovering. Yeah, both these two now, yeah, low on meter and they're just uh, trying to build it up again. Shinta already down to 101% on his last stock. One big edge guard, that could potentially be it, and Nintendo recognizes it, trying to go in to be able to seal oh. it off. Dash attack will kill at this percent, but usually tends to kill around anywhere from 160 to 180. Both hits are pretty good, and they actually are able to stop their opponent from spot dodging. Both of those two just going oh. off stage. Oh, barely missing that forward smash. Big opportunity there for Nintendo to seal out the game. Not quite gonna be able to find it though. Dash attack comes in, tries to intercept him. Oh, tries to go for a back on the landing here, but immediately Nintendo finds his own instead. Tries to go for the big edge guard play, but it's not gonna pay off. But he pays off on the landing, taking the stock, and the first game is gonna go in hands of Nintendo. Trying to do the Richter Belmont there, where you just wake up into down tilt <laughs> to try and catch people <laughs> pressing right? a button, but Nintendo was just in the right positioning, and that worked out beautifully for him. He's gonna take that first game. Let's see if they continue the Joker Ditto. Or if they're going to start moving on and see what goes out here. Oh, here they both. Oh, yeah, they're sticking with it. All right, all right, I see you guys. Um, but shout outs to everybody watching the 2DG Gaming channel. We are our big grand finals between Mr. E and I believe Sweetie almost has a million views. It already so. has a million views. Yeah. It's the first 2GG video, actually, that has uh, a million views. So that's interesting to see. But already, here we go. Getting, getting things started here. A very unsafe Yeeha right behind Shinta, so Shinta's gonna be able really to get gonna that. Are you really gonna Yeah, I'm gonna call it Yeeha. <laughs> Someone already took the Roy Mustang, so I have to call it something else. Shout out to Arc Store, by the way, for coming up with that one. Anyways, here we go. Great parry from Nintendo. Recognizes the situation. Picks him up with the up tilt. Yeah, and of course that pickup uh, does come up in the front hit of the up tilt. It's pretty close though. 
There's the Aha, of course, having it much better buffed up there with Arsen in play. Tries to get the back air here, and he's able to. That's the thing about Aha, right? When you have it with Arsen activated, it does do more knockback and it does a little bit more damage too. And the range, I think it's a small minor buff in how long it goes. Mm -hmm. Alright, Tetra Card not gonna work there, just waits out the counter. That's gonna be Shinta taking the first stock here. Very much different game from last time. Oh, trying to end his life there with a dare. Potentially trying to get more damage and reposition, but not quite. Nintendo back in position to try and start something. The thing about all the, the about Joker's options here is he seems to be really raid heavy. Uh, from the looks of the startup, like all the smash attacks, right? They require you to get with proper whiff punishes or just get a over him from a tech chase. So that's the thing about Joker, too. You have to be. It's, he's a character that requires you to play on point. Yeah. I feel like, in general, it's very difficult for Joker to approach. So you're. Oh, wow. Cross up DI on that up air. So you just went straight up on that. It's difficult to approach, I feel, just because those ground options, they have. Pretty good startup, but just on the end lag, it might be a little bit devastating, especially things like yeah. that dash attack, the forward tilt, Hopefully everything's a little there. bit difficult. At the same time, though, this is Ditto, so they both suffer from the same problem. So, <laughs> right? Yeah, so it's kind of just who reads each other better in the scenario. And it looks like so far it's been Shinta doing that, keeping up the ledge trap, putting him off stage one more time, waiting out on the appearance of Arsene, and is able to almost build up his own meter. Back air, Vinto looking for the corner carry and he gets a positive trade here to the force to go for the recovery. I mean, it does really feel that Joker is kind of like Sheik with Cloud Limit, but he has, but Sheik has better Cloud Limit in general. Right. I'm telling you, man. Most of the pillows, man, they, they are just not comfortable. Yeah, it's just, it's just like, I can't rest my head on this chair. Exactly. That's, oh. it, it just, it's just they don't want you to sit on the chair. Yeah, all right, but here we go. And Vinton, definitely Shinta does not want Nintendo to survive on the stage here. He is, of course. Arsene gonna run out, gets the landing neutral air, and he gets a grab. Think about landing neutral, it does allow for different follow ups as well. Alright, dash attack goes in. He's a forward tilt, there's a run in, but no punish here. <laughs> gets hit by the get up attack. Oh my god, Nintendo with the empty dash dances, trying to catch a jump out of steel with that up smash, but up throw, Shinta okay. just gonna stay there. The thing about going for up throw to grapple is it can condition your opponent to be scared of that option and it can force them to go for a different one. It all depends on the conditioning and usually up throw to grapple only works at certain percent after, after a certain combo. Yeah, usually it's best for catching people like pressing a button or yeah. other options, but if you're usually moving, it's hard to get that grappler hook to actually do what you want it to do. Exactly. Oh, he tries to go for the take aim into the arts there, and he's able to get clipped finally. Landing forward there. Uh, fair one. Also a really good combo starter from just about anywhere from mid to... From low to high, mid, low to mid percent. Sorry. Yeah, Nintendo using that grappling hook, but not able to find the setup afterwards. Not quite reading the DI, but still he's bringing it back yeah. all of a sudden. But Arsene, Arsene is available. Yeah, Nintendo's gonna have to wait a while. He's tagging on the damage, so he's already halfway to meter available. But yeah, and the thing about waiting for a while, the problem is get it's a 30 second timer. Oh, he has the Rebels guard, but unfortunately the M lag will leave him vulnerable. And Joker does take a small step forward every time he goes for that forward smash. Kind of similar to Smash 4 Falco, how he used to do the same thing. Yep. And that time, it looked like Nintendo had the opportunity to keep holding Rebel's Guard, but that's just one of those things where he's just like, you gotta be ready for it and just commit to the option. And it looked like he wasn't able to, he's just trying to release it and get out of there, but that's where the end lag starts and you're able to get it. Not only that, Rebel's Guard only lasts for about two seconds. And it, it actually lasts a little bit longer, obviously, if you get hit. But the problem was, he did not get hit. Two second timer does disappear, and. Joker's small step forward with the Forest Smash will bring Shinta into Game 3. This is Winner's Quarters, no Game 5 until Winner's Semis and Lucius Semis. For those of you wondering how our California Winners are working. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's going to Duck Hunt. Damn. Say, it, That's how this works. Yeah, it's time. I'm going to say it's time, man. It's Game 3, man. <laughs> it's like you're committed to the Joker. Yeah. I'm going to go Duck Hunt. All right, let's see how this goes. Going to Smashville, very small stage. The projectiles from Duck Hunt will cover a very uh, wide area of the stage itself, so maybe that's what he's going for here. We'll have to see. Think about what we talked about earlier how there was a triple clay pigeon setup that was patched out. Not this current patch, but I think patch 2.0 was the patch that patched it out. Or 2.2, I think. Okay, but here we go. Trying to go for the Clay Pigeon setups anyway. I mean, if you're not ready for it, it could potentially be a, still a big mix-up game Yeah. when being susceptible to that. Arsene is available, but almost gone already. 
Let's see if they can potentially get the spike, but not quite. Just using the can to protect themselves to recover. Same as in, same story as it was in Smash 4, and that's all she wrote. Ooh, down smash sending to the other side. That <laughs> actually works out very nicely. And Nintendo looking like a very solid lead so far. Setting up into a combo corner carry. The can is available and you just see Shinta trying to get out of the way. And Nintendo almost ready for hit. But thought that he could maybe extend it one point further into another up smash. It's going crazy on the damage here. Uh, and he finally gets the Rebels Guard into the R set activation. Finally, any opportunity here. But Nintendo goes for another clay vision. I mentioned how that was changed. Uh, they still it, trying to find the setups for it. <laughs> you can still set up for it. The problem is that back then it used to be able to do like three of them and then finally down there, but now it pops you up at different percents. Yeah. As opposed to the original. All right, what's the option going to be at the ledge? Trying to find something? Oh, oh just go to the ground. Yeah, it goes for the ground first. Good opportunity. Go for the cannon. Go for the upper because you do have the hitbox extension with the cannon play. So it would have covered a lot of space. Yep, Yeehaw just uh, gets nullified by the Clay Pigeon, trying to figure out his way to land, and he finds it with that down tilt, gets the upper afterwards. Usually a true combo at low, low to mid percent, roughly, so it's good for, she, uh, for Shinta to actually just keep going for that combo. Mission earlier, right, the knockback that you do take from Aha even with out Arsene, it's pretty big on the Rebels Guard, and he finally gets Arsene 178%. Shinta just holding on for dear life, he does get access to Makara Karn, which is a reflector. Yeah, it's just a matter of being able to use it, though. Not sure how useful it would be against Duck Hunt, though, because a lot of the projectiles, they just oh. move kind of slowly if reflected back. But the back yeah. air out of shield, that will be able to do it. Seals out the stock. Arson doesn't change your weight or survivability by any means besides the recovery. So yeah. still susceptible to dying with, uh, with Arson available. Oh, this is big damage. Uh, Shinza pretty much paid the price, and he tried to go from Rebel's Guard because he felt the corner carry coming here, and he was trying to get the Arson activation. He's still able to find it here, but still Nintendo with two stocks over one. Here's the Aha, and he gets the corner carry himself. There's the... And it's good for the Nintendo to go for... Can, because he's able to hold Shinza just in place for a small second. Got ledge pressure though with the can available, just goes in for it, catches him on the ledge, but the shield is able to protect himself just in time, but still, I mean, just Joker in general having a hard time getting back off of this ledge. The can is just such a great and deadly ledge trap. Is oh. the stock going to be taken? The gunman there to intercept the drop zone. And it's good too because the can was looking to go low, so she had to make the mid stage recovery. And the gunman was the one thing that hit him too as well. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, he'll lose the game. Nintendo takes this with a 2 1 over Shinta. Yo, man, if you look at my side and your side, man, this is the duality of man. Like, I'm a messy eater, and you're the one with the clean stuff. I spilled, like, water.